welcome to my office jump and a beautiful day sorry guys the video is a little bit late today why is the video a little bit late because it's bloody hot in thailand and i had some people over to my house to install install some air conditioning so we can cool a little bit off in our bedrooms because it's really bloody hot you will see me sweating again today because of the hot I will walk my office again, sp speak a little bit about the news, not that much news today, but um, I will try to make it an interesting video again. Just as interesting as this boat over here, guys. Check this boat. I think he misjudged the sea and he didn't know that the sea was pulling back and we would have a low tide today. So now he is stranded. And he can wait till it's high tide again to sail the beautiful seas of Thailand. This is the same as the crypto market. Sometimes you misjudge the market and then you get liquidated because you thought you could play the leverage trading game. And then when you get liquidated, you lose all your Bitcoins. And that was about 1.2 billion that was lost in the last liquidation on all the leverage trading platforms. Sometimes you uh, think you should buy Bitcoin and then you buy Bitcoin and suddenly Bitcoin drops $2,000 and you don't feel like selling with loss. So you get stranded just like the boat on the background here because then you need to hold a little Bitcoins till it goes up and you can make some profit again. Never sell with a loss so then you will never be in a loss. But this is different with leverage, leverage trading. That's why I always warn people to not leverage trade if you don't have any understanding of the market. Because then if you sell Bitcoins and you go short all along and the opposite will happen, you just lose your whole position and all your Bitcoins. If you just buy Bitcoins, you can always wait till Bitcoin goes up again and then sell the profit. Yes, you still need to sell your Bitcoins if you really need it. But then again, only play this game with money, you can miss and are prepared to lose. So very important advice you can take out of this boat stranding here because of the low tide in Thailand. The fisherman will need to wait now for a day. He will not be able to fish for a day. And after this beautiful day when the high tide is there, his boat will be floating again and he will be able to start to fish again and uh, provide of some beautiful income for his him and his family. Some short news about the Bitcoin miners, guys. Um, I've discussed this uh, a few times now in the last few videos. The Bitcoin miners, people are thinking now that the Bitcoin miners will sell all the Bitcoins after the halving to make some profits. But if you look at history, then history has shown that the miners don't sell directly after the halving. They always sell a few months till a year after the halving. If you look at the last two halvings, they haven't sold their mined bitcoins directly after the halving. It would always happen a few months later. Why? Because also the miners understand that they need their sell their bitcoins when there is a bull run. So they wait and they huddle their coins till it goes up tremendously and then sell their bitcoins. So that was a lesson we have learned from the past. So we can also take this lesson and look at the current halving that will happen in, another, in one more day. Don't expect the miners to crash the market, but do expect the exchanges to crash the market because they will have the upper hand now in new Bitcoins floating into this market every day. The miners will only have 900 Bitcoins now floating into the market daily and the exchanges will have about 1200 BTC floating into this market daily now. So the control is shifting from the huge mining companies now to the exchanges. So I think it's really important that we start to watch the flow charts of new bit BTC into the market, but then done by the exchanges. I think that is now how to predict in the future if you will see huge crashes or huge runs because we have seen this in March. If you look at this chart, you can see the huge peak of inflow just before um, the dump and just uh, during the dump. I do think it's important for you and me to keep checking these inflows of BTC of the exchanges to even be able to predict the movement of this beautiful volatile Bitcoin. 
Bitcoin back to 10K. Do we think Bitcoin can go to 10K? Yes, I believe that Bitcoin will go to 10K. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I do know that there are a lot of bullish indicators that haven't torn, turned bearish yet. Um, so for me, I still think we will see 10K. There is one trader, I saw a tweet, that tweeted, um, guys, if we look at the last movements of uh, Bitcoin, we can say the same pattern now again showing up. This would uh, mean that Bitcoin would be up to 10K in like two, three days again, because it's showing after this huge top, the drop, and then the recovery. It's kind of the same with this drop, drop. so it runs, runs through four phases from the top to recovery. Um, just check the chart and you see what I mean. So we could see Bitcoin up to 10K like in two days again. Bitcoin can not only drop in 24 hours with 1500, but it can also run in 24 hours with 1500. That's the beautiful thing about Bitcoin. I love this market and I love, um, you know, to play this huddle slash trading game, because if you are able to manage your portfolio, I keep repeating this, if you are able to manage your portfolio in, a, in the right way, you will never stress or have fear of losing everything or all that stuff that could you know play a role in your mind and play a role in taking profits or losses um, so just learn to play the game and uh, we di i did it by just you know trial and error but i also did it because i followed a few courses uh, one of the courses is the one of crypto crew university you see the link below i think it's a very good course that not only learns you how to trade but also how to read indicators, but also how to um, see the macroeconomics having influence on assets like Bitcoin. So I, I would really suggest to do the course because um, I really like how the Steve build it up and how he educates you in the how you, how he educates you in simplifying the way of this difficult, you know, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies world. If we take a look at the true fundamentals of Bitcoin, of course, I need to speak about this as well. If we compare the fundamentals of Bitcoin now, this halving with the last halving, then the, you know, the whole play field has changed tremendously. Um, if, it comes, if it comes to new uh, addresses, new Bitcoin wallets, we have 70% more new Bitcoin wallets now than we did in the last halving. If it comes to the daily transactions, there are like 44% more daily transactions this time than before the last halving. So these two are tremendously up if you compare it to the last halving. And if we take a look at the daily value of the transactions, we are even 700% up compared to the last halving. So even the value is huge difference between this halving and the last halving. And last but not least, if you take a look at the hash rate, this is a huge difference because there is a difference of almost 6,500% more hash power than there was at the last halving. So the whole play field has changed tremendously since the last halving. Um, so we never know what will happen exactly after this halving. We can only try to understand and predict what will happen just like the boat I showed you in the beginning of the video, he could have predicted the low tide because of indicators, because of time schedules, because of all the moon cycles, because of everything. He could have predicted the low tide, but he didn't. And because he didn't, he's now stranded on this beautiful beach here in Thailand. So it's all about, you know, reading indicators, reading signals, looking at the macroeconomics, and then um, make a judgment for yourself and decide you know to buy or sell or huddle it's a game it's a trading game and you just need to learn how to play it if you're not up to playing it and you just want a bright future for yourself and your family or even just for your kids then just make sure you accumulate one bitcoin and huddle it for the next couple of years don't look at the market just live life and in a few years look back to your wallet and see how much this Bitcoin has increased in value and you know you will be also happy then you don't need to play the trading game if you're just in it to support the true fundamentals and, and maybe make some profit in the future because either you leave your money on a bank account somewhere where you will pay have a negative interest rate in the future or you leave your money that you're not using on a beautiful hardware wallet somewhere 
in a beautiful safe and you just take a look, take a look at it in a few years time and maybe Bitcoin will be $1 million at that time. And then you save a beautiful Bitcoin till that point, which will be worth $1 million, which you can sell or maybe not need to sell because Bitcoin is then worldwide accepted as a payment method. That's the beauty of the game. We all don't know and we can all speculate, but um, you know, we will see where it ends at the end. There is one more thing, guys, I wanted to speak to you about. I saw this video of this woman in Australia being arrested because she was peacefully protesting against the lockdown and against, you know, all the stupid rules that now are created because of a flu um, that, you know, is killing a lot of people. But we have seen these pandemics, these flu peaks many times before, and we have always conquered them by herd immunity. This time, um, governments have decided to take it from a different angle and now even arrest women that are peacefully walking the streets to stand for the freedom this woman yes took her kid to the protest we could debate if it's you know good to take your kid to a protest yes or no she stated that the kid um, you know wanted to be there because she, he wanted to play in the parks again and he wanted to hold a sign please let me to the parks again so you know this, this can be a huge discussion you know I, I don't know for me i always try to lead by example so if i want to show my kids that i don't agree with governments i i i would tend to take my kids as well you know i would say look you can always stand up to the governments or to the rules they create in a peaceful uh, harmless way because if you do it in a peaceful harmless way you're doing nothing wrong but now we have seen the proof that <laughs> that can see be as wrong because the law now states um, that you need a distance like one and a half meter. I don't even agree with this being possible to be a law if we got not the opportunity to vote to uh, to vote or agree with it being a law. Um, I will add the video clip so let me know afterwards what you think um, with this, about the situation. I'm free to go. I am asking for your name because I do believe you're committing offence. Do you but understand I'm that? I'm not committing a crime. I'm being detained. I understand. Am I being detained? No. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for. I hope that you're all here supporting and caring for us. Maybe you guys can carry a sign too. I'd love to. Okay. I am going to be asking for you. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to be sent. I am. You guys are good people deep down. So, have a beautiful day. Sadly, you have to do this. Thanks very much. It is. Because it's our guys. They're doing their jobs and what they have to yeah be. yeah i have to we're just six and this what is what i'm teaching them i go to sleep with honor at the end of the night with honor knowing that i've defended my rights i'm i'm here fighting for not just myself and my kids but for your children too that's right so thanks guys have a good day i'm gonna keep walking my son is with me. I am not under arrest. Why is she, 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 she under arrest? You need to get her. Why is she under arrest? Can you grab the chest? Can you grab the chest? Please, immediately. Why is she under arrest? Come on. Why is she under arrest? 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 Please, you'll feel safer with me. Can I just have the key? Yeah, no. Can you just have the key to somebody, please? No. Let's kill somebody. Yeah, we can't just give it to anybody. Anyway. Yeah, look, look, look what this represents to the child. You've taken his child. Yes, yeah, he'll be coming back with it. Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is what you signed up for? Yeah. 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 Do you agree with her being arrested and the kid being ripped off her, you know, and just made this huge drama about something which was like harmful she was not hurting anybody she was just doing a peaceful protest 
or don't do you disagree and do you agree with the, the governments that she should have followed up and uh, lived by law and she should have stayed inside and she should not have gone outside and she should have not shown her kids to fight for her freedom let me know what you think i think that is all what i wanted to tell today guys so i hope you enjoyed the video again please if you do like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new video and please share it with your communities so we get some more followers watch ours and we can monetize this beautiful the bitcoin family channel so we can start and keep educating more and more people and support the poor people all over the world by giving them donations out of the revenue we will make with this channel i wish you guys an amazing day i hope you make the best out of it live life to the fullest 24 7 and life will be a beautiful thing to live see you guys tomorrow again and sorry for the delay but they were installing an air at my place so i couldn't go and leave the house behind see you tomorrow Bye.